Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. I'm sorry if it's loud. My brother is detailing a car over there. My dad is doing headers on his truck and us, we are finishing ripping this carpet out of the Jeep to install the floor pans that are crushed underneath of all this stuff. As you can tell, I started the trunk area already. These are obviously rust holes that should not be there. These will get fixed eventually, but as of now, I got front floor pans ordered off Amazon for this thing. So what we're going to be doing in this video is ripping out the carpet. I don't know how long I can record because I plan on making two parts to this in one day and the GoPro is already at 70%, even though I haven't touched it since the last time it's been charged, but we're gonna get right into pulling this carpet out. So I guess we'll get started with the trunk area, which uh, I gotta clean all this junk out. Pull this up. As you can see, rust, rust, rust. So we just have from this point and everything forward. So I assume this releases this back seat. I don't know what the hell this does. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I guess I'm there. We'll put that there. Ugh. Oh yeah, look at that. Straight to the muffler. <clears throat> this is gonna be fun. I guess the bright side to all this is I won't have ugly carpet anymore, but I've only been doing this as long as I've been recording and I'm already sweating. It's already 80 something degrees. I think it's supposed to get to a high of 90, but while I'm motivated, I wanna get this carpet done. So whatever that little release lever is, it doesn't work. So if we take the back seat out, we're just gonna have to take that T40, whatever the hell my brother said it is, screw out and this just pops out. These seats, we're just gonna detach right now and get started that way. Weight reduction dog. Turn this thing into a mud bogger because you can't say the bad words. Get demonetized. <laughs> I found our problem. What? <laughs> a third nut. What? <laughs> There's a third nut on this. You're an idiot. Why am I an idiot? Because I called you an idiot. Working with one hand's not easy either. Floor? I no floor. Oh. Yeah, my front floors are fine. I don't remember ever saying that. That's crazy. That's what mine looked like. My back one's not that bad. I mean, there's a big hole to the muffler, but. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, look, it's all in the unibody. I've always said this. I overpaid, but I wanted it. How's it going? There's no floor. I know there's no floor. I'm aware. Wait, time out. That's your carpet. Right there. It's just rock carpet. Watch the carpet. You ready? <laughs> Shut up. I got new ones in the back. It's why we're doing it. Well, that would explain why the things they have underneath the floors are in there so well. Yeah. But I just discovered something, guys, that this floor has been oh god i can't get it patched already as you can tell that's not a floorboard that's a two serviced specialist sign so i'm gonna keep i'm pretty sure this is the only spot because there's a hole there a hole there holes everywhere else and he can poke the front this is probably the only spot that somebody patched so even the spot or the piece they used to patch this floor has holes in it like somebody shot it with a gun all right, carpet is out. This is the passenger side, clearly. 
this is the worst of it it looks like they tried to patch here a little bit also um oh i don't know how much i trust this oh this is the driver's side clearly screwed it looks like they tried to patch it in the past as you can see there's holes in it i always assume that this sign was shot by bb guns or pellet guns or actual guns whatever because there's just some holes there or it might just be rust but i don't know but this floor is definitely the worst like that's just a clear open hole so next step since all the carpet since all the carpet is out the next step is to get rid of all the rust which you know what now that i look at it, it looks like this side was patched at some point too unless that's just what factory floor pans look like and clean up all the rust that fell inside the unibody clearly so we're gonna get started on that i started knocking some rust out i got a majority of it vacuumed up with the shop vac the unibody does not have any rust in it where i could get to at least but i have front floor pans i don't have rear floor pans i don't have a hatch or any area from this point back i think i think that's all this the stuff that i got covers is just this front um i think we're just might just use some road signs to cover this up that floor was passed before or is this one yep. that's what i said i said i don't think it's factory there. yeah i don't think this was factory that's what i said at some point it was and it still wasn't taken care of but it'll be taken better care of this time we're gonna get it done right kind of we'll get this part done right We'll use some road signs to get this area done probably and then just a piece of steel for the back or something and then i'm going to need frame or unibody stiffeners at some point but that's for later stuff you can't get it all done at once daily driven projects take time especially when you don't have a lot of money to throw around it's, things definitely take time but we're going to keep hitting at this getting some of this rust knocked out and get into putting the new floor pans and stuff in so here's the floor pan that i bought when these it's too long because there's a hump here i'll show you guys this hump right here with the new floor pan or whatever it comes past this hump so what my brother is doing is he marked it and he's gonna cut so then we'll just put in the front part here and then we'll use like that back half that's cut off somewhere in here or whatever. Some context. My dad's putting new headers on his truck. And as he was putting one of the bolts back in, it snapped. So what he's doing is welding a nut to the end of it so he can twist the nut to get the stud out. Smart engineering. But he sounds very angry. But what we're working on is cutting out the rust so it doesn't spread. Oh, look at all that. So my brother's changing the blade on the thing right now. We're gonna cut all this nonsense out of here and put the new nonsense in there. the fun part just in case something starts on fire Ooh, burn a hole burn a hole all right so this came from the back half of this and as you know there was a hole there we cut the rust out around the hole so underneath of this is just one big hole now and we're using the back half of the front floor pan to patch that and we'll get some like road signs or something something small or we have like a little piece of sheet metal over there to patch this but we also still have this side to do so if anything the back half of that floor pan we can use anywhere else on this As you can see, 
we are now on to the driver's side. My brother has been busting some butt to get it done, get everything welded. I've helped out just a little bit, just a little bit. I did some work. I'm not about this, all this welding stuff, but I don't know if these are good or not, but I think they look good. But we just put some stuff, we self-tapped a lot of this stuff in and then put some RTV over it. Um, the holes underneath the, or over the unibody, we're just gonna not worry about them, but anything that goes straight to the ground that doesn't have anything to do with the unibody, we covered up. We still have to RTV and weld around some of this spot right here. But this piece is in and good. This is in and good. This floor pan's in and good. And as you can tell, he's going ham on that side over there. It's going well. It's a long process. My dad finished the headers on his truck. And for now, we're not going to really worry about this point on um because the previous owner somebody put a sign back here so that's fine for now but there is some holes underneath the seat and then all the holes back here that i will worry about soon i'll get it done soon definitely as well as getting the unibody itself stiffened and repaired all right so interior is back in obviously there's no carpet but the floors are in i got my uh floor mats over there i gotta put them down um so for today we're done so i guess there's gonna be like multiple parts of fixing the rust on the floor but right now i gotta clean up the mess first and then finish ripping off whatever the hell the previous owners had underneath of there but Let's just go. Let's go clean together. Let's go look at all all this nastiness. And yes, majority, if not all of this, is from the Jeep. Even like floorboard, floor, floor. And there's a God knows how much of the floor and rust inside of the shop back right there. But on the bright side. I finally started fixing my rusty, rusty Jeep. It's getting somewhere, and one day, maybe it'll be close to rust free. Probably not though. I hope I don't lose motivation. I'll try not to lose motivation for, the, for you guys, for the viewers, and for the sake of how much I love that Jeep. I don't want it to fall apart. And it'd be nice to have a clean Jeep and not a rusty Jeep anymore too. But, we're gonna go rip those floorboards or what's left of the floorboards off quick and then i'll close out this video well i would spend my time and try and get these pieces to come off but i just got that piece off because i was touching the ground but i gotta go home gotta attend to something big thanks to my brother follow him on instagram i'll put it on the screen again just like last video hopefully it doesn't crash my computer but that's gonna do it for this video guys i'm sorry i don't know how it's going to turn out so i'm going to apologize if it doesn't turn out and too bit or too much of a great video i'm limited to what i can do with the gopro battery life um i'm going to look into getting a gopro 7 black because you can switch the batteries on those i can't switch the battery on my silver if you guys enjoyed this video Leave a thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button down below. As always, guys, I hope you're doing well. I will see you next time. Peace out.